to hit the holiday weekend. Look for uh, partly cloudy or partly sunny skies on Saturday, but dry, mostly sunny on Sunday, and that probably should hold into Monday. High temperatures uh, over the weekend, mostly in the low to mid 70s. So today, a little bit of a break, though we didn't get mm -hmm. much in the way of showers no, yesterday. A lot of threats, but not much came out of it. Yeah. Drier than we thought it'd be, huh? Yeah, it looks like that, but we'll get, we'll get our showers before the week's out. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. And still ahead this morning, feminism and music, a special report on the activism of female bands. And a pipe bomb blast kills two youngsters in Thurston County. It is 528 King 5's Morning News. We'll be right back. Girls Club is a lot more than just a gym. It's sort of like a second home to most people. We learn like what's right and wrong. And there's a lot of support. There's many different things to do. Drawings and painting and you never get bored. I just come in the learning center and do my homework. You stay out of trouble. They teach you many, many different skills. You shouldn't fight, you shouldn't argue, you should try to settle your differences. If you use your mind, you can achieve anything that you want to do. You have courage. Self-esteem. It enriches many things in your life. I know I'm going to grow up to be somebody. What do you want to be when you grow up? An archaeologist. I'd like to be a veterinarian, a basketball player. Myself? I don't know. Grow up to be somebody. Every kid is proof positive the clubs work. The club that gets results needs your help. Call 1-800-854-CLUB and find out for yourself why the Boys and Girls Clubs of America are the positive place for kids. Want the news? Gene Anderson and Barry Judge bring it to you. Gene Anderson, informed, involved, insightful, with a 20-year commitment to the Northwest. Barry Judge, professional, thorough, a respected journalist with a world of experience. Together with the King 5 News team, they bring you a unique perspective of Western Washington. Clear, complete, up-to-the-minute coverage. Want the news? Gene Anderson and Barry Judge bring you the news. No frills, no fluff, just good reporting. Watch King 5 News. A Seattle woman who's tried everything, but still battles the bulge. Well, I've got the same problems that my mother had, or that my great-grandmother had. Now she's trying a new form of plastic surgery made painless. And we'll see if it works. Plus, a local teen goes from behind the counter to an encounter with the camera. People really didn't believe it was me, though. They just, you know, they'd tell me, I saw this girl that looks exactly like you. You'd better make believe it. Discover your Northwest with Evening Magazine. Tonight at 7 on King 5. I have a new sweater. It scratches me. The camera's on me now. I can tell. It looks funny. If they like me, they might take me away. I wonder if I could keep my pillow. I don't want to be a boy anymore. Now I'm a panther. Watching King 5 Morning News with Joyce Taylor and Dennis Bounds. It's 531. And these are the events making news this morning. Children playing with explosives. Two Western Washington boys are killed. Two others are injured. Racism rears its ugly head at the King County Courthouse. And the beat of feminism. That's in our special report on women, anger, and action. Some clouds around Puget Sound this morning, but some sunshine in our forecast. We'll have that coming up in just a few minutes. Good morning. Once again, I'm Joyce Taylor. And I'm Dennis Bounds. Two Thurston County boys are dead, two others hospitalized after an explosion. Sheriff's deputies say the kids were building a pipe bomb last night. It apparently blew up in front of them. Neighbors in the Nisqually Valley fell to the blast and came running. I said, what? I said, yeah, I heard a big boom, Mom. I went out there. The one little boy was laying in the yard and saying, help me, help me. So I came in the house and called 911. And she goes, Mom. You can't, you won't, you can't believe it, they're dead. Dad are 16 year, a 16 year old and a 10 year old. A 12 year old and 11 year old are hospitalized in serious but stable condition. Sheriff's deputies say the boys also had a hand grenade, but they don't know if it was live ammunition. The fate of a 19 year old, Duong Li, is now in the hands of King County jury. Lei is charged with aggravated murder, robbery, and extortion in the killing of a well known Seattle resident, Mamie Louis. 74 year old Mamie Louis is the widow of Yen Louis, the founder of many Seattle photography studios. Prosecutors describe the suspect as a cold blooded killer 
who had time to clearly plan his crime. In contrast, the defense argues Alay suffered from a brain disorder caused by a car accident he was in the month before. Racist messages are plaguing the King County Courthouse. Several judges discovered anti-Semitic flyers posted outside their courtrooms. King 5's Mona Lee has the story. In order for flyers to be posted legally at the King County Courthouse, they must first be approved by the building's facilities department. But one particular flyer filled with racist and anti-Semitic accusations went up illegally and sent shockwaves through the building. 